teen heartthrob business, imitating the rock business. Exactly. The terrorist business. The terrorist business. <laughs> they caught you in a boat. I remember. You remember that? I do. But you're in my world now. This ain't. I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. A very, very long time. Yeah, but no one's writing the words for you here, son. This is real life. <laughs> Just because you look like you're a no country for old men doesn't mean you're going to beat me in this. That's right. Well, listen here, friendo. You come to my world now. Look me and in the in eyes, my world, cowboy. Look me well, in the eyes. When you look actually me eyes, beat me. You can't even look me in the eyes. Oh, I can't. I don't like to look at lesser competitors in the eye. It gives them the ability that I think they're on my level. Sorry that I not. believe in respect. I'm a two-time champion. Sorry that I believe Two in respect. Two-time champion. Two-time. Well, I'm a 20-year champion. Just ask of my mother. Oh. Don't bring 30-something into this. I love your mother, but that's got nothing to do with it. She's going to have to patch up your wounds when I'm done with you in that ring. You tell her I said that. You tell the outlaw loves 30-something. You tell her I love her. Yeah, go ahead. You already brought my mother into this, and you said you You brought mother. your mother into so, this. So you're cool with me. You're that's cool right. with me. That's right. So if you beat me now, everything's good, because you love my mother. I don't know why you're touching me. But if you make a move on her. What? No that you have to treat her nice. I will. You have to treat her good. I will. You have to take her to a nice expensive dinner. I will call her afterwards. And you have to Oh my god. treat her to three sushi dates three? before you can get any action on my mother. Oh my god. You understand? Yes. And four if you want to get action with my father. Well, I'm going to go on the second sushi date and get action because they call me the outlaw for a reason I don't follow the rules. Now that's where I draw the line, cowboy. <laughs> Famous person in the room. That might not be the case today, Christian. It's usually never the case, but today it's definitely not How's the case. That? Well, Alex Wolf is here, and the good news about this thing is that Alex is not only he's got a new movie coming out in Hereditary, but that's in not. theaters nationwide June 8th. That's how you'd be a professional on the desk. A lot of buzz on this movie. Scary movie. I know you're looking forward to you're it. Not. I'm looking, you're not. You're afraid is, he cat. That is not true. I am actually you're looking gonna forward nightmares. to it. You stop talking. And what is going to happen here is, is not only is he in this movie, he is a big trivia buff. And we and and we've had a lot of great players kind of come through. We've had a lot of great celebrities come yeah. in and play. And a lot of it's like, you know, we just want to go ahead and have fun. He's like, no, I want I want the best. Who do you have? And we're like, well, we can push up against John Roca, but he's you know he's a two-time champion. He's like, give him to me now. This is a batting cage kind of match because when you go to the batting cage, if you're taking your daughter, you're like, okay, we're gonna go to the softballs and you can just hit a couple. You're six years old. You're just gonna get a couple soft pitches. We offered that. We said, okay, you know, we can crank it up to 60 miles an hour if you want. This kid comes in and he says, no, I want the heater. You give me Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn for Major League throwing pitches. We're going to give Mare stuff. He's going to be going up against an A competitor. He goes up against the outlaw John Roca, who was a finalist in the tournament. He's a former champion. He's a former team champion. And look, and, and I have seen John Roca destroy people on the microphone. Mm -hmm. And he looked intimidated when Alex Wolf was in his face talking smack. I've never seen that before. Yeah, well, Alex Wolf, he's a quarter of Roca's age. Alex Wolf actually has a car where Roca has a horse. So right. it maybe a little more modern air. If he gets a new releases kind of category, I think this kid could really do some harm to the legend known as John Roca. Well, we're going to find out. They didn't even cut pre-interviews. They, they, they wanted nothing to do with the pre-interviews. They just wanted to go straight into this thing and start the battle. I'm ready to go. Uh, yes, I would say I am as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmodown. <laughs> Hot. Introducing first. Get the Representing Hereditary, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Wolf! Not shy, not shy. Kids got He doesn't look intimidated at all. No. I'm <laughs> taking the outlaw's mic, putting it It's gonna be harder table. for him to answer correctly. Is yes. already calling him. Oh my gosh. That, oh my gosh. That is, uh, that is a fine. That is defacing of property. No respect. No respect for yeah. the former uh, champion. Luckily, don't worry, kids. The markers have erasers. And his opponent, Basketball season has returned. representing the Horseman, he is 
the former Movie Trivia Schmodown team champion, former Movie Trivia Schmodown singles champion, the outlaw, John Roca. There he is, John Roca. Here comes the outlaw. He's like getting booed by Alex Wolf's people. Unbelievable. And uh, look at one of the most popular, Jesus. one of the most popular competitors in the league getting booed here. Yes, today. it's it, it's all it's in his home studio, but it feels like an away game is, for the outlaw here today. It is, absolutely. Is he allowed to is he old enough to be here? What's going on here? What are the child labor laws of me oh, within his man. boys' butt? And any right. retort there, Alex? Or Jesus. Else? I uh, kinda let my movie trivia do the talking for me. I like oh. that. I like uh, that. He is uh, ready to get if, if this kid beats John Roca, I'm gonna buy him beer after the yeah. show. Now I want to say one last thing. I want to say one thing. Yes. Well, what camera am I at here? Polly Draper, I'm sorry what I'm doing to your son. Michael Wolf, woo woo woo, Arsenio Hall, I'm gonna beat that boy like crazy. Wow. There you go. Look at it. You're going well, down, Wolf. Polly, I'm about to do to this guy what he wishes he could do to you. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting hot. So we're gonna get, and again, this is an exhibition match, so I just wanted to let this everybody know. Exhibition to be. match. I don't really an know exhibition. how to play this, just so everybody knows. Uh -huh. I've never done this. Well, we're gonna give you the rules right now. Mark, okay. how does round one work? In round one, competitors are gonna hear eight questions from eight different movie categories. The questions are asked to the both of you at the same time. So once you hear the question, simply write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard in front of you, and then you have 15 seconds to do that. Once we ask you as an individual to verbalize your answer, please show the whiteboard to the cameras at the same time you verbalize <laughs> it into the microphone. Each question that's, that's is worth rough, one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. All right, round number one. Here we go, guys. Um, remember, also let you know, Alex, you, there is the JTE rule, which means throughout the match, you can choose to repeat the question three times throughout the match. You only have three of those. You have one challenge rule, so if you believe that a call is made of right answer that you that you got wrong, you can challenge it, but if you lose the challenge, then that is, you lose it completely throughout the entire game. Do you, are all eight questions from different categories? They are, mm -hmm. yeah, random, random, random categories. And we don't have to assign it. Yeah, that's a different no, they decided. Yeah, okay, so now, now Roka's taking a shot at JTE. All right, all right, here we go. Okay, <coughs> question one is from the realm of action adventure. Oof. Action adventure, 15 seconds to answer the question here. Mia Sara plays Jean-Claude Van Damme's wife in which 1990s action film? All right, so Roka, Roka, Roka starting question. to write it down, and uh, Alex writing down his attempt at an answer. And five. Good chance I saw this movie Four. in theaters if it came out Three. in the 90s. Big Van Two. Damme guy. I know you are. One, Roka. Time cop. Correct, Alex. No idea, but Die Hard 2. Die Hard oh. 2. Okay, so Roka goes up here one nothing on Alex as we get to question number two, Mark. All right, I think he'll be at home with this category, Alex, because it is in the world of horror slash thriller. Oh, damn it. And the question is, the movie Annabelle is a spin-off of what horror franchise? Both of them right there. Okay, if I give you Annabelle versus Chucky, yeah. who's winning that battle? Chucky, because he's got better comedy. You see, fine. <laughs> it, it's not a stand-up. To me, it's, it's not an open three. mic. Two, neither is this. One, Alex. <laughs> Conjuring is correct, Roka. The Conjuring. Conjuring right. is correct. So Roka going 2-1 here. I like how Alex uses a very small font yes. and Roka uses a very large, needy font. Yes. And just a reminder to both competitors, also, sh when you show the board, please say it at the same time. Oh, got okay. it. No problem. All right, here we go. Next question is dramas. Dramas. Name the actress that played the title character's mother in Love, Simon. Love, Simon. A very new release. It's a new release. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. They're both stunned here. Curling catch that on Verizon. Alex Fires. is writing and Roka is thinking. Yeah. Roka he, uh, doesn't think well. I think Roka has actually fallen asleep. Five. Can I do it? Four. Three. Two. I don't know one. Shit. Roka does not have it. Shit. Don't have it. Alex. Jennifer Garner. Got it. Damn it. Oh, there you go. Alex right. ties right. the game. Oh. Alex ties the game here. Tied at two. And I think two, I know two. who the crowd Josh is Josh Duhamel was the dad. Yeah. Respect, Alex. Respect. Our next question comes from world of animated movies. What actress voices Master Tigress in the Kung Fu Panda franchise? Roka thinking. There's been, what, three of those movies? 106. Uh, fun fact, Van Damme voices a crocodile in one of well, them. Well, now they know it's not Van Damme. Yeah, Five. I said actress. Four. Unless you're Sam actress Levine, slash you heard that. Three, yeah. two, <laughs> one. Pens down, please. Alex? 
That's wrong, Jane Fonda. Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Did you know that? Uh, Does he know? <laughs> John yeah. Roca. That's incredible that he doesn't John know. John Roca. Who do you got? What do you Lucy got? Lucy Liu? No. Damn it. No. It was Joe Lee, wasn't it? Both incorrect. It is Angelina Jolie. Son of me, yeah. But uh, Alex channeling a past failures from John I know. Roca. I don't even think Alex Famous realized. Famous misquestion yeah. with Jane Fonda yeah. in a Perry, previous show. I don't even so. think Alex realized about that cheap shot, or maybe he did. No, um, I, uh, she did some I like that he's getting into his head regardless. Like so no one got that point, right? No one got the point. <clears throat> it is okay, still 2-2. Two, 2-2 two, two, two as we get to the next, next question here. That's fantasy sci-fi. In The Princess Bride. What repeated phrase does Wesley say to Buttercup that really means, I love you? In my experience, people have seen this movie once or a thousand times. I've seen it 3,001. I've seen it once. And the one you saw it was when you showed it to me for right. the first time. Five. I like the movie. It's a great movie. But, uh, Four. You know, three. It's good. Two. One pence down, Roka. As you wish. Correct. Alex. Never seen it. Didn't Both have it. Good. Wow. <laughs> Didn't have it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, there you go. So as we move on to the next question, three to two, Roka goes up by one here. All right. We go to the world of comedies. There are movies intended to be funny. <laughs> and the question is, in Wedding Crashers, who plays Secretary Cleary, the father of the two women that Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn are trying to seduce. Looks like both our competitors are writing this down. I think seduce is a strong word. I mean, you, you meet a lady at a wedding and seduce. you have some five jalapeno Four. poppers. Four. Stop talking. Three. Seduction. That's what I was going to say. Two. Yeah. One. Pens down, please. And Alex. Christopher Walken. Correct. Roca. Oh. Damn, Christopher Walken. Oh, oh look at you. Nice. Playing, Suck it! Playing with the kid. Playing with the kid. Okay, next question here. All right, your next question. In the world of directors, Rick Famuyiwa directed the 2015 coming of age movie about a group of kids in Los Angeles. What was the name of the movie? Oh man, both stumped them, even the outlaws. Man, the crowd's starting to yeah. turn on both competitors here. Wow, we're uh, a lot of five. Mariah. Come on, yeah, can, four. Uh, you can use one if you want, three. To repeat it or can I ask you, for follow up? Repeat, you can, uh, <laughs> two. Oh. Is there a phone a friend? One. All right, that's that, Roka. Didn't, uh, I did not. Nope. Alex didn't have it? I didn't no, know. No, we were answer. looking for so dope. 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 Oh, dope. Oh, I never right. saw dope. dope. All right, oh. you should see that. It was a great movie. Yeah, Good right. movie to say in a professional meeting. Final question here in round number one. Family films. Family films. Home Alone primarily takes place in a suburb of what city? So, I mean, so far, it's not. What's, what's the score here? Four to three. Yeah, four Outlaws to three. only up by one. Mm. Roka. It's a terrible and day. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we go with Alex. New York City? It's incorrect. Mm. Roka. Chicago? R Roka. Yeah. Up by one more. There. So that's we go. five to five, three. three. Going into round number two. So round number two is going to work like this, Mark. Yeah. How does it go? Alex thinking about Home Alone 2, where he yeah. is, in fact, lost. Yes. In New York. In round number two, a wheel is going to emerge from behind that curtain. Now, the wheel has a bunch of different movie categories on it. Each competitor gets a spin at the wheel. Once it lands on a category, we're going to ask you to answer four movie trivia questions from that movie category. However, if you spin the wheel and you say, I'm really not that confident in that particular movie genre, we will allow you to spin again at what point you have to answer the four questions. Got it. In round two, the question value doubles. So now each question is worth two points. However, if you're not sure of the answer to the question, you can ask us to give you multiple choice options. So we'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one point. Yes, you can steal from your opponent in this round. 15 seconds answer. How do you the question. steal from your opponent? So if it's Roka's turn and he misses the question, you will have the opportunity to steal. If he has, if he has not gone to multiple choice, then you're going to be going for a two-point steal. But if so it's gone, four or two right now. It is four to two. Five to no, three. it's five to, three. five to three right now. Yeah, five to three. Five to three. Yeah, it's five to three. So if you're going to steal, you have to wait for them to not get it right. Then you can steal okay. it at that point. Right. So and also keep in mind that Roka can steal from you. If Probably stealing your, from him right now. Uh, well, we're going to find out right now. Roka, mini yeah. right from through his wallet. Five, three, you're in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? Oh, no, no, no. Our special guest is here. Let him go first. Oh, oh, look boy. at Roka. That's some eight mile mm -hmm. shit. Come on. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Don't throw up mom's spaghetti, son. Spin. All right, here we go. Big, give it a big spin there, Alex. All right, Roka showing off his hip hop knowledge. There it is. I like the white hop. What is he? What? Okay. No, you, no, no, you spin it. Big spin. Big prices. Oh, for God's sakes. 
Big prices right. Because it's spin. exhibition, we're gonna let it go. Oh. <laughs> Big prices right. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It could be spinner's choice here, Christian. Uh -oh. Spinner's choice. What? Lands on spinner's choice. Spin the wheel. Pick whatever you'd like. Pick whatever category. Uh, yes. Try, yep. uh, comedy. Comedy. All right. So comedy. We're gonna go with comedy. All right, it's, Mark. It's we'll be cool. asking the questions here for comedies. I don't think that's ever happened where it's we have a, a celebrity match. come in and right off the bat they spin <laughs> spinner's choice no. the first time out. No. So now Alex also wins ten thousand dollars in Excellent. cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's answering some questions from comedy movies. All right, Alex. In the world of comedy, your first question is: What actor was the original Nutty Professor? way back in 1963. And keep in mind, if you're not sure of the answer, you can ask for multiple choice. You get multiple choice. I can do that. Is it A, Dick Van Dyke, B, Don Knotts, C, Paul Newman, or D, Jerry Lewis? Five. Oh, no, you can just answer. You don't Four. need the whiteboard this time. Uh, is Three. it Dick Van Dyke? Uh, it is not. Roca. Roca. Jerry Lewis. It is Jerry point. Lewis. One point there. Rope All right, so now it's a uh, six to three ball game. This is the I'm worst really, I'm being taken in the cleaners. Yeah. All, right. All right. Next question. Your next question, Alex. Yeah. Who played the girlfriend of Mark Wahlberg's character in the movie Ted? Oh, Mila Kunis. Two, Two points. points. Nice. Right. Nice. Oh. All right. It is now six to four. Good pull, kid. Excuse me, six to five within one. All right. Your next question. Two left. What David Zucker directed comedy starred the creators of South Park, Trey Parker and Matt oh, Stone? Basketball. Two Good more points. Boy. He yeah. has taken the lead on the Outlaw. It is seven to six right now. Outlaw has not gone yet in round two. Seven to six in favor of Alex, and you have one question left. In what movie did actor Cleavon Little play the role of Sheriff Bart? Can I have multiple choice? You can certainly multiple choice. Is it A, History of the World Part 1, B, Blazing Saddles, C, Spaceballs, or D, Robin Hood Men in Tights? Blazing Saddles. One point. <gasps> All right, eight to eight, six. six. That's how you do. That's how you. That's how you get the spinner's choice yeah. wedge to work for you. All right. So now Roca's down by two here, going into this spin here. Bit of a shaky walk to the yeah. wheel there, yeah. by the yeah. way. <laughs> down by two. Losing this first lead. All right, Roca. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> Back to his old heel ways, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. He's got two heels and only one good knee. John Roca, <laughs> here it comes. Uh-oh. And uh-oh. Is it new releases? Oh, this new is releases. very interesting. If he takes this category, I'd then like it means it. that like Alex is currently, you know, I acting know. in movies. He might be in some of these new releases we're asking questions yeah. about. I say go for it. I say well, test it I out. Say, yeah, test I mean, it out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to, you know, what walk away here without your prize. Test it out. How do you steal? Stick with new releases. Ah, oh, boo. Oh, that means boo. he's afraid of Alex. You are the worst. <laughs> well, okay, some of the heckles from the crowd cutting a little yeah. close Getting to the a little aggressive here, but... in the crowd. Yeah. It's not going to be new releases. It's going to be 80s. 80s. 80s, 80s movies. movies. 80s movies. All right, and I'll Alex, just for reference, what year were you born, sir? 97. This one's going to hurt. This All one's right. going to hurt a little bit. All right, here we go. Roka, you got four questions. Four in questions. 80s. After Napoleon follows Bill and Ted through the time portal, oh. who is the first historical figure that they bring back for their history project in Bill and Ted's excellent adventure? Uh, multiple choice. Is it Fuck. A, Socrates, B, Abraham Lincoln, C, Billy the Kid, D, Joan of Arc? Socrates? It's incorrect. The one point steal, Alex? Um. Uh, can I hear the multiple choice again? You can. Is it A, Socrates, B, Abraham Lincoln, Damn it. C? It's Abraham Lincoln. It's incorrect. Billy the Kid Damn is it. the Billy first. Billy the Kid. Damn it. Billy the Kid. Shit, I really Billy. thought. No. Billy the, the Kid. Not right, played so by neither, no, no points for Roka, no steal for Alex, but we get into question two. What martial arts superstar appeared in the Cannonball Run movies as Mitsubishi driver and engineer? <sighs> Jackie Chan? Two points yes. for John Roca. All Coming right. back to ties up the game here. Hide at eight, two All questions right. left. Name the character Molly Ringwald has a crush on in 16 Candles. The character? Mm-hmm. Character. Oh. Name. That's rough. Shit. Uh, multiple choice. A, Mike Baker. B, 
Jake Ryan. C. Jake Ryan. Yeah, that's correct for one yes. point. All right, nine to eight. One question Just to go to in round it. two. Yep. This is it. What Disney classic are the Gremlins watching at the end <laughs> of Gremlins? <laughs> no clue. Uh, what? Multiple choice. What? A. I only watch good movies. Snow yeah. White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> what? What? Sorry. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Okay. B. Pinocchio. C. Fantasia. D. Cinderella. <laughs> Can I steal? After he misses. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Pinocchio? Incorrect for Damn one it. point. Is it Fantasia? Snow White. Snow oh, White is the answer. Snow White so and the seven dwarfs. We go into oh. round number three with Roca up by one point here. And here's how round number three, the final round works. Mark, how's it work? In round number three, the final round, the round that will determine the champion of this here matchup, we're going to get a series of three numbers from each competitor. These numbers range from one to 20. So just give us your three favorite numbers, your three lucky numbers from one to 20. Each one of those numbers correspond to a movie category up here at our desk, and it could be anything. Your first question is gonna be worth two points. Your next question is gonna be worth three points, and your last question is worth five points. I wanna remind the competitors there's no stealing in round three, so the questions are asked only to that individual, and at the end of it, we'll have either Roca uh, feeling good about himself, or we'll have Alex Wolf pulling off perhaps one of the greatest upsets in modern showdown history. Okay, here we go. So, Roka, you're up first here. Yeah. One to 20. Three numbers, please. Two, eight, and 17. Two, eight, and 17. Alex? One, three, and 20. One, three, and 20 for mm -hmm. Alex. All right. Alex. He opened up with two yeah. slow numbers, then he went 20. Interesting strategy. Alex is going to start here with his two-pointer to throw it back to Roka if he hits it. Alex, you chose coming of age. Oof. Coming of age. All right, here we go. Who played the dying girl in Me and Earl and the Dying Girl? Olivia Cook. For two points. Yeah. There you that's, go. A, that's a kid who's currently coming of age. Two points. Wow. Now, now we go back to John Roca here. Rick. All right, John Roca, for your two point question, you selected number two. Yeah. And that corresponds up here to the world of family films. Oh, crap. We hope all your family, we'll all of your children, are gathered around the television watching this right now. Your question is. Yeah. What 2010 animated film featured the voice talent of Gerard Butler, Jay Baruchel, and America Ferrara? How to Train Your Dragon. Two, Two points. points. All right, now we bounce back Two to points. Alex nice. here. Broke it. Reclaiming the lead. He did. Alex now has his three-pointer, and that's going to be in the world of Steven Spielberg. Yes. Steven Spielberg. He's a popular director, Christian. That's right. <laughs> All right. Steven Spielberg directed two films in 2005. Name mm. one of them. Oh my God. It's the one, uh, oh, Munich. That's correct. Damn! Oh, That's correct. Look at that. We would have taken Munich or War of the Worlds. Woo! Yeah, okay. 13, two, 11. No, no, no. Just one out of the two. It's fine. It is a two point lead for Alex <laughs> Wolf. Roca Kids now got has something. to answer Kids got guts. a three point question, or else he's going to be one question away from yeah, possibly lost. losing the match. So, Damn. Roca, you selected number eight for your second category, the number of Steve Young. And your question is going to be in the world of Brad Pitt movies. Oof. My close personal friend. Your question is, who directed Brad Pitt in the 2004 movie, Troy? Hmm. Multiple choice. Multiple Can't choice. Can't do that for round three. Are you, are the, are you, the outlaws phase. Are you Christian? the first time player? <laughs> Five. I think that Jane Fonda thing. Four. Got. Three. Two. Repeat. repeat. I can certainly repeat the question in case you didn't hear it the first time. Damn it. Who directed Brad Pitt in the 2004 movie Troy? Five. Four. I don't remember. Three. Two. Uh. One. Wolfgang Peterson. <laughs> he got it. He what? Knew it. Oh my yeah, that's gosh. absolutely right. You knew that. Three. <laughs> you points. knew that. That you were toying with them. Are you serious? Or is that a cheat? Oh. Really? <laughs> that was. 
<laughs> he knew Wait, it. did he? What just happened? He, he got it right. He was toying with you. He got, got it right. Oh, so you had it from we, the beginning. We what? don't know what? if he knew the answer to it or not, but regardless of that, we're now down to our two five point questions. John Roca with a one point lead, however, maniacally he achieved that. So now it goes back to Alex Wolf. Alex Wolf is going to have his five point question asked, Christian. Yep. And if he doesn't get it, then the outlaw wins. If he gets it, the outlaw has to answer his question or else he'll lose. Okay. Here we go. Make sure, make sure it's a five pointer. All right, here we go here. So the category is famous actors and actresses for Alex. If you're five pointer, Alex, name two of the three films that cultural icon James Dean starred in. Giant Streetcar Named Desire. Right, well, no, no, Giant Rebel Without a Cause. Giant Rebel Without a Cause. No, that's not true. I, yeah. Giant Rebel yeah. Without a Cause. Hold on, we're going to give a final answer here. We're, we're getting a final, final answer. answer. Final answer. Giant Rebel Without a Cause, East of Eden. He did it. Got all three. That's bullshit. All three of them, that is. This is bullshit. It's an exhibition. <laughs> Come on. I, no, even even if this was a championship match, the fact that Alex had not finalized he his finalize. answer right. yet, the fact that he caught himself. It happened in the same, yeah. in a team title match with above the line and the Patriots. So now I thought you up. correct yourself. I thought you correct yourself, cowboy yeah. hat man. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Where did I correct myself? Yeah. In what? And All right. now we go oh, yeah, I to can't wait till this one. Cowboy Hat Man. In the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What's <laughs> this point going to be? Wait, so the is game. the theory that I've been getting softballs and you've been getting hardballs? Maybe. You think? That is not the case at all. Every question that was picked, that was you coming from the, the normal document we always Probably refer to. random numbers. Yes. You asked, you asked for a straight up match and you got a straight up match. Yeah. Here we go. Roca. <laughs> For the win or the loss, oh God. Is it you more? selected number 17, very lucky number, Doug Williams. Yes. Your question is, what in the world of Angelina Jolie oh, movies. Forget it. You win. The woman who voiced Tigress in Jeez. Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> also known as Tigress. Your question is, who directed Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt in the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Come on. Don't make me steal this from me. You can't steal this from me, you win, fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Five, four, three, Is he torn with the two. Music? Repeat. Uh, I can do that. Who I directed? I got two more, right? One I got two more. more? Yeah, one more after that. Oh, one more after this, yes, yes. Who, <laughs> is he planning on using him, apparently? Who directed Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt in Mr. and Mrs. Smith? God. I think he's doing okay. I think he knows the answer. Oh, I think Five. he's acting. Four, oh, I just figured it out. Three, it yeah. two, repeat. Oh, All right. Repeat. This is it. Oh, you're building it up. This I like this. this. this is no, it. I like really this. don't know. Who's the better really? actor up there, John or Alex? Your question is, who directed Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt in Mr. and Mrs. Smith? I don't. Five. I, I have a guess. Five. Fuck it. Four, three, two. Doug Lyman. And your winner. Wow. This is such a. The this is, this is outlaw, John. Throwing things at him. They're Wait. throwing things at him. Not he fans. toyed with the kid twice. Wait, does that mean that he wins? He won the match on that How? last question. He hit the How? five pointer by one point. He was up, he was down by he was down by five, four. Yeah, I mean look, I'll say this. A poker face John Roca does not possess. I think yeah. it was pretty obvious to everybody he's toying with the kid. Uh, Alex does shake his hand. That's good sportsmanship on his part. And uh, John Roca, look, for all the bashing that we do with him here on a day-in, day-out basis, the guy knows his movie trivia, but Alex will certainly up to the yeah. challenge. Oh, man, yeah. Alex hit a lot of those classic questions, too. And then, uh, you know, Roca t was was toying with, with him for a little bit. But uh, it, it, what a battle. It was a good battle. He said he, he didn't want us to dumb down the questions. We didn't at all. And he proved, look, 1918, he took the former champion to within one point. Pretty impressive. That's right. I mean, for Roca, a man born in the early 40s, to take on Alex Wolf, who <laughs> Alex Wolf said he was born in 1997. I hear that news, and I want to go crack a beer with Clint Eastwood on the porch somewhere and just die. Well, that's fair. You can do that and die while Perry Nemiroff talks to both Alex Wolf and John Roca. Here we go. Hey, guys, backstage right now with the competitors. So first, Roca, I know you love to talk, but Alex, what was it like for you out there, your first mow down against the outlaw of all people? Well, you know, playing against a cheater, it's, it's always challenges what? and there's things. <laughs> he, he won fair and square. We got real close. One point game. I really want to rematch because I, 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 there was one I blew that I thought I, I could have gotten that because I thought of it later. But 
you know, it was good. It was my first time, and I'm going to nail it next time. I want to do it for the rest of my life and quit my job. Wow. I feel like you're just bursting at the seams to shout or do something outlaw-ish. Listen, the kid brought it today. I, I didn't really, I looked past him. I didn't think he was going to be that strong and trivia. And he really brought, he put me on the ropes and I had to pull out two directors out of my butt to win this thing. So the kid, if he wants to come back, I want him to come back. I'm happy to play him in a rematch. We'll do it for a title if a title's on the line. I'll do it. We're making history right now. That was one of the nicest post-match spe speeches I've ever heard from John Roca in my life. For the record now, I need to know, Jane Fonda, did you just randomly come up with that or did you happen to know about something? I didn't know about anything. I thought Jane Fonda, for some reason, I thought she was in that movie. Um, that she was in the animated movie for some reason. I think she's in some animated movie, I'm trying to figure it out. The one that was the most surprised that I pulled out of my ass was uh, Munich 2005. Yes. I just happened to remember the year. I happened to remember that, that Munich and War of the Worlds. I remembered it. So if I want to get better at Schmodown right now, clearly I just need to pull answers out of my ass. That's what I'm <laughs> learning from this match, no? Yes. Roka, is that your tactic? Absolutely. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the game. Listen, I know people think I fake that stuff. I don't. I have an idea in my head. Then I ask for the repeat, so I want to make sure I'm right. And then I just take a chance. It just happened to work out today twice to beat this kid, and I needed all of it because this kid really brought it. We also need to know the Outlaws' weak spots right now. So towards the end, <laughs> you could tell. You saw the tells. What was the tell so everybody knows? Well, he would pretend that he didn't have the answer, and he would do like, if I, the technical term is bad acting. And oh! He would, he would pretend All that right. I would start to be able to tell that it wasn't, that that was not what he was actually doing. <laughs> but playing against this guy was amazing. He was great. Thank you. He was a great opponent, and uh, you know, he kicked my ass at one point. It was a great match, guys. Alex, our door is open to you anytime you yeah. want it. Back to you guys at the main table. A lot of jokes kind of cracked back and forth. And, yeah, some uh, good was, sportsmanship, too. They realized it was a good match played. And right. I, I think Alex will – hopefully this is not the last time that he has stepped into the movie trivia schmodown ring because okay. I think that this kid – he's 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 a mere boy, Christian. He's 20 years old. He is going to have a bright future here in this league if he wants to give up that whole movie star thing. Well, we're going to see. I, I doubt it because you got Hereditary coming out, and that movie is poised to be something pretty June special. June so sure 8th in theaters out. nationwide giving him nightmares. It's going to be fun. I'll be scared, but I won't. Don't be scared of you guys. Leave comments. Make sure you do all that stuff. Subscribe and keep checking out the movie trivia schmodown and check out once again Hereditary. It's coming out in theaters very, very soon. We thank you guys. Thank you, Mark Ellis. Thank you, Thanks Christian Harlow. Wolf for joining us and for the outlaw John Roca for being just pure class. <laughs> <laughs>